Their message is simple. There is no turning back when it comes to the sex education curriculum. This is a rally that was organized by students who say they weren't even alive when the old curriculum was first introduced. We've heard from parents, politicians and teachers in the past several weeks, but today it was students who rallied at Queens Park. They say this is their fight since they are the ones directly impacted by what is and what is not not being taught. Grade 12 student Frank Hong is one of the organizers and says it's time someone listened to them. I was born in 2001. Having a curriculum that is older than me is completely inappropriate and unacceptable. 10-year-old Sophie's parents switched her from public school from private because they wanted her to learn the new sex ed curriculum. It's really important for other kids, not just me, to know about this and that a lot of people, um, things have happened to them because they don't know about it and that's important. Rain Fisher Quad is also one of the rally organizers and says she's been taught the old and new curriculum and she saw a difference. The 2015 curriculum was such a change from that instantly. I saw the change in my sister, I saw the change in my dad's students and it's, it's criminal that it's being repealed. 16-year-old Madeline, who's been the target of cyberbullying, has this message for the Premier. Doug Ford needs to know that the kids care about this too, that we care and that we want that we want our curriculum back and then we, we want a curriculum that's modern and a curriculum that actually talks about what we've been through. Also here, Glenn Canning. He's here because his daughter, Retea Parsons, is not. She died by suicide after being bullied over photos taken during an alleged sexual assault. He believes his daughter would still be alive if things like consent and bullying had been taught in school. No question at all that Retea's life would have turned out a lot different had consent been taught in school. We've got to start putting kids first. Um, when I see that the curriculum is being cancelled and go back to 1998, um, is that going to harm kids? Absolutely. And, and why? It makes no sense to me. The reasoning behind canceling this makes no sense to me whatsoever. So where do they go from here? Students, parents and the NDP leaders say the fight will continue both at Queen's Park and in communities across the province. As for the PC government, they say this is not so much about dismantling the entire new program, but about consulting more with parents. At Queen's Park, Irene Preklet, City News. Toronto police have made an arrest in a murder in the East End over